aromatic, but real lightly. It's when they change your food, your corn and your soy in a laboratory with the scientists. You can go online and check it all out. And they and they they let the bacteria, they, they cut little slices in the food, in the plant, and then the bacteria, okay, that survived uh, Roundup goes into the cuts because that's what they like. They like to find the wounds of plants. They go in it, and so you have one species going into another species, uh, and, and they grow in there, and that means that the corn and the soy cannot function fully to the way that it needs to. And then they, they take other species and they put it in there and it's just not, it's not okay because what is it going to do? I don't want, I don't want these bacterias. And I even heard that sometimes they put E. coli in there, okay? I don't even wanna talk about this right now. Too much information. However, so another biggie was almond flour. You can use that a lot in different things. Now there's things like arrowroot, which I'm gonna try soon. See almond flour, okay? Um, I can make a killer pizza. Now, sometimes I you'll find a recipe online. Um, you know, you could say carb-free or keto, K-E-T-O, which is short for, keto for ketosis recipes. And sometimes you can switch it up. Sometimes I, I, I said, one day I said, oh no, I don't have any more almond flour. And sure enough, I said, well, I'll try the coconut. And this was to make pizza crust, okay? And I was so disappointed when I, when I thought I had to use coconut flour. And wouldn't you know, it came out even better. It was a sweet pizza, which was divine. So those two things, um, you can get coconut flakes. Okay. Coconut flakes, I like to make certain treats with those in there. And you have your coconut sugars you can use, okay? That's what I put into my Chinese rice tonight with the cauliflower. It was total insanity, okay? Now, we have also olive oil, all right? Um, I just couldn't afford the organic one. This one I did, because this here is extra virgin olive oil. Now the difference between the two is that olive oil is has a high um, capability in when with heat. So if you're gonna cook, you wanna use this. If you're gonna put it on your salads, you use something like that, okay? And I used to wonder why that when I put the, the extra virgin olive oil in the pan to cook, it would just like disintegrate in a second. Anyway, so another must have is avocado. Avocado is the beautiful, beautiful high um, fat, 20 grams of fat in one of these. So, but you know what? Society since the 60s have been telling us that fat is bad, okay? And that's why everybody's sick because you need lubrication, okay? Where on earth out of all these foods that, 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 people are telling you to eat, right? Oh, the, the fat-free, you know, the, 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 the non-fat or the thin, the thin bacon, the, uh, the, the, the chicken breast, or, uh, you know, the non-fat salad dressings, or just use a tiny little bit of olive oil, or it's the fat that is the lubricant to everything. And that's why people are having strokes and heart attacks, and this is why they're coming down with dementias, and that's why they're having cancers, and, you know, because they're eating all the sugary foods and all these fake foods, and they're coming down with all these diseases, okay? Rashes on their skin, you need to get the sugar out and you need to put the fat in. Healthy fat, don't say, oh, I want fried chicken, so let me go. No, because now you're talking trans fats, okay? There are certain fats that you need, monosaturated fats, polysaturated is okay, or unsaturated. So monosaturated, no, you need mono fats, you need um, some polys okay, but not the other, the bad fats. You say, you can't say, all right, well, hey, Lisa Fry said I could have this Twinkie because it's fattening. Wrong, wrong go. Okay, and then we have our coconut oil. This is hard as can be when you start it off, but then you break a piece off, you put it in your pan or wherever you want it in your baked good, you melt it in the microwave, however you want it. It's wonderful. And then we have this here. This is grass-fed um, cheddar cheese. Oh my gosh, it is 
amazing to me. My husband wasn't, you know, you have to be a cheese lover. That is amazing. Complete amazement. All right. And then we do walnuts. And I just bought pecans. I didn't bring pecans out, but pecans are, when, when the ratio is higher fat and lower carb, that is the best. Okay. So for like instance, in one ounce, this says 18 grams of fat, right? Oh no, the Americans are saying that's terrible. And, but the carbohydrates are only four. Beautiful, sugars are one. All right, so, and the ingredients are only walnuts, beautiful. So, uh, like a hamburger is wicked high in fat, very low in carb, I believe, and it is so good for you. The animal fats, okay? I was, I was a vegetarian for 19 years, and I was sickly, 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 sickly. All right. I know I'm fat now, but we're working on that. That's because of all the darn sugar I've been eating all these years. Okay, let's talk about water because the tap water, guess what, people? Uh -uh. With all the, the, uh, the, all right, so we get a figure. They take the water that we poop, pee in, and vomit in, and I don't even want to mention other things. However, they have to clean that, and we drink that. No problem. But you know what? Now there's chlorine and all kinds of chemicals in there that I am not too fond of. Will I drink it? Yeah. However, I am now, I believe it's stripped though of electrolytes and all that, if I'm not mistaken. This here is Pellegrino. Okay, you can even use spring water. If you have well water, you're in luck, baby. You are blessed because, you are blessed because it's got all the nutrients, the minerals, all right? This stuff here, it comes from the ground, underground in Italy, all right? If I can't go to Italy, I'll drink the underground water. Hey, I'm not, uh, too, all right. So now for my rices and that I made tonight and for all my Chinese food flavors that I want, Aminos soy-free seasoning sauce, uh, that's the coconut secret. Oh, yes, and it's 100% organic gluten-free non-gmo no MSG uh, Which is modified food starch, which is sometimes in your cottage cheese and most times it is and It's you just don't want it people. All right, and it's vegan and It's a substitute for soy sauce. All right, so I use that and I also bought this one Okay, it's Brag Okay, liquid aminos. Now it says natural soy sauce alternative. And it says all purpose seasoning from soy protein. And let me keep reading because on the ingredients it says vegetable protein from, I don't know if you can see this, non, no, my up closes aren't doing well. It says non GMO. Okay, soybeans and purified water. All right, so that's excellent when you have like cabbage and you want to throw it on there. So another th product from Bragg is this premium natural yeast seasoning. It adds delicious flavor to foods and it has iron, 160% of B2, 140% of B6, 40% of B12, 6% of zinc, 180% B1, 70% of B3, 40% folic acid, 30% um, pantothenic acid, if I'm saying that right, and selenium, I have no clue what that is, 10%, we'll have to investigate that, and one tablespoon. So if you add this to your soups, and it says here, um, mm -hmm, it says, La, 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 la. All right, specific design to help meet the nutritional needs of vegetarians, vegans, and anyone wanting a good source of B-complex vitamins, okay, including natural vitamin B12. So you can sprinkle it on your salad, but it does kind of taste a little creepy, but it says it has a cheesy flavor. But, you know, fit it in there now and again, every day if you want, all right? Another must-have is... This here, apple cider vinegar from Bragg again. See how at the bottom there in the big red, it says with the mother. That's what you want. I believe that's the fiber. You take some of that, a capful, a tablespoon in water, 
and you drink it. There was a time that I drank it and I craved it so much that I didn't even want water. I just went for it. And um, and I just needed it every day. And then I found out through a doctor online, Dr. Berg, B-E-R-G. He's the one that saved my life. Uh, he is a chiropractor and a nutritionist. And he was saying that some people even crave it. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's what was happening to me. Because your pH balance is just like when you clean a pool. You know, mine were out of whack, so much so that I would have heartburn, I would vomit, it was just terrible. So when you have heartburn, what you don't want to do is take Tums and anti-acids and all that because the reason why you're having heartburn is because you don't have enough acid and it's coming up out of, like, gas. So we need to not listen to these doctors so much, but listen to these alternative medicines because like Dr. Ax says online, food is medicine, all right? So organic coconut protein blend is what I like to use. Uh, original flavor plus 20 grams of protein. Now we're not supposed to have, oh, this is, um sorry, uh, mix into smoothies and baked goods, vegan protein derived from coconuts, all right? It's organic, see here it is. I might have gotten this from Walmart, I want to say. My three, actually a couple of places, maybe maybe, maybe even four. My four go-to places have been Market Basket, Walmart, Whole Foods, and Vitamin World, because they have one in the mall. So the other thing is, well, so let me get to the protein. You don't want to eat too much protein because you're, if your body does not need the excess that you've eaten, guess what it turns into? Uh -huh. Sugar, and guess what that's gonna do? Make you fat and unhealthy. Uh -huh. So, this here is my favorite of all things. I just bought it yesterday, I'm so excited, at Vitamin World, and if you become a member, not a member, if you sign up for the rewards or whatever it is that they have, you, whatever's on sale and that you buy, they give you double. So I was so excited, except this was not on sale. So I was really bummed out. $20 this cost me. All right. It's eight and a half ounces and it's organic wheat grass. Okay. Now when you smell it at first, you're like, what is that? But then you taste it, right? It is so amazingly delicious. I can't even see straight. All right. And what this beautiful, gorgeous thing does it does this. Our whole leaf wheatgrass is grown and harvested only once a year, allowing the root system to grow deep and capture an abundance of rich nutrients not typically found in traditional green vegetables. We harvest at peak nutrition and cut only the tips of the grass, ensuring Mother Nature's best is in every scoop so that you can feel mm -hmm. amazing every day. Well, I'm very excited because we started this yesterday, my husband and I, and because it is very expensive and we don't have a lot of money because we stay at home, the kids and I, and he goes off to work, um, my daughter's making all that noise, so bear with me. Please hurry. And, uh, my beautiful girl. And so what I do is I take two cups, one for him, one for me, of almond milk, coconut milk, whatever, and I put one scoop, because I know it's not gonna last very long, so at least we're getting some of it, but it is so wonderful that I just want more. And what I do is I put some of the, I just put a little bit of, a uh, little bit of the, not even, a, not even a full cap full of almond, or you can do vanilla, or you can not use anything. My mother, she's so excited because um, my stepmother just gave her some and from Dr. Berg, which is much more expensive, but she's been drinking it like crazy. She loves it, and I'm so happy for her. And now we have to hook her up with all kinds of really great things.